Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 20 to 3 on Sunday the 18th of June. I'm reading Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. My copy of it is falling apart. Uh, full review of this will be coming soon though, so keep your eyes peeled for it. I did a bit of spring cleaning slash moving stuff around today, so I'm quite tired now. I'm just going to crack on for a little bit and then probably have an early night. I don't know, I might sleep in the afternoon. We will see. My sleep's kind of screwed at the moment. Um, but that is where I'm at. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is currently 9.25 in the morning. Oh, I just, what the fuck was that? Oh, it was my screen report on my Mac. It's currently 9.25 in the morning of Monday the 19th of June. Uh, you can probably tell I'm losing my voice a little bit. I'm coming down with something. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's a cold or the flu or COVID. Hopefully not. I did do a test yesterday that came out clean. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty shitty. And I'm supposed to have a Q&A &A at 5pm today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I kept on being productive yesterday and then after that I went to bed at about 5, 6 p.m. Slept on and off till about 7, 8 a.m. this morning. Um, I kept waking up and I had like some weird fever dreams and all of this stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. And, um, yeah, now I'm just catching up with being productive. I mean, it'd be nice if I can keep this schedule going and getting up at this time because really I should... One of the things I want to try and do now that I've moved my office around is to try and get to more of a routine of working nine to five, you know? Um, so, that's the plan. I'm still reading Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. I've almost finished it now. As you can see, it's properly fallen apart by this point. Um, and then after that, I'm going to read that thing about growing trees. So that's, that's where I'm at. Hello, everybody. It's just gone 9 a.m. on... Um Tuesday the 20th of June as you can probably tell from my voice. I'm still not feeling the best um, Shay was supposed to be coming over yesterday, but I felt so bad about 3 p.m. I just crashed um, And I just slept from 3 p.m. till about 6 7 a.m. This morning um, I say slept I had a lot of like interrupted sleep and weird dreams and all of this stuff we're now having stormy weather outside, which is quite nice. I do like a good storm. Anyway, because of all of this, it meant that I wasn't able to do the Q&A that I normally am supposed to do on um, Mondays. So, oops. That's a shame because I do get paid for that as well, so I could have used the money. Um, I finished reading Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. This is all I have left of the book because it fell apart. 3.5 out of 5, but a strong one. It was very good. Um, I then went to pick up Growing Plants, The Complete Guide to Growing Fruit at Home by Jason Johns. This uh, came free with uh, some, some trees that I bought online, but it was just so bad I DNF'd it. Uh, then I read the Rattle Young Poets Anthology, which was pretty good considering like some of these poets are super young. Like, Let me try and find one. Mm. Okay, this one is uh, an autocorrect poem by Faye Merritt, age nine. Cats are coming. Dogs are not very friendly. Monkeys created a new life. Koalas have a lot of explaining to do. Pandas need help from your parents. Foxes have been doing the wrong thing. And bats are in the same house as you. Bats are in the same house as you. So yeah, I'll probably give that like 3.5 out of 5. It was pretty good. Um, it does mention in some of the like contribute contributor notes that some of these kids are like, their parents are poets and stuff Which doesn't surprise me because it does read as though adults have had a hand in it, you know And I'm now reading Rattle issue number 80 So both of these were sent out to me by Rattle because I submitted some poems to them a while back uh, I didn't get accepted, but I do get free poetry collections. So that's very good So I'm gonna go do that I don't know man. I feel terrible I've lost oh yeah, and I've lost like half a stone in two days um, because I've been too ill to eat So that's the thing and outside like I say it's been It's been raining so my garden is looking quite happy. So there's that the wind has fucked the neighbors um, Clothesline though look at that Anyway, <clears throat> I'm catching a bit Hello people of YouTube. Oh, that's my TikTok going off. There we go. It is currently 25 past 12 on um, Wednesday the 21st of June. Still not feeling 100%. I guess I'm slowly but surely getting better. Um, oh yes, my beard line should be nice and nice and defined now because uh, Shay gave me some microplaning. It was very kind of her. She's currently in the bedroom over there having a little lie down and hopefully we're going to go out in the garden in a little bit and she's going to help me out there. So that's good. Um, I finished reading Rattle issue 80, it was like 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke, which at the moment is just okay. 
um, but I'm hoping to do a video review of it soon. <clears throat> I was supposed to have a, a radio show interview at 7pm tonight, but I'm going to see if I can reschedule that for next week. Um, and then, I don't know, then tomorrow I'm supposed to have my uh, daily Q&A, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. We, we will see how we, how we get on. Uh, but I think that's all I've got for you today. It is me. It is uh, 25 past 9 in the evening of Saturday, the 24th of June. Um, Shay is next to me. She's playing The Sims. You're waving. Do you want to actually be on camera? Mm -hmm. No, but she's next to me playing The Sims. Uh, it's quite a nice shot. You can see how I've moved around now where the window is and stuff. Um, I'm still reading Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke. It's still I, I've just not been very well for a few days. How about Shay, Shay? So but I've done really well at looking after you. You have, yeah. So Shay's been here doing shop runs for me, uh, looking after me. We did some Lego together. We have pretty much completed Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles on Wii, uh, which is like an arcade shooter style game. We played it for six hours. We actually played it so much I have a blister on my finger from pulling the trigger of the Wii gun so often. Um, yeah, we've got a few more levels of that, so we might play a little bit more of that in a little bit. If uh, Shay's up for that. Uh, we should probably watch some Waterloo Road as well because we haven't watched any of that for a while. We watched Road Trip yesterday, which Shay enjoyed, old favourite of mine. Uh, I had a radio, an interview, not radio, a podcast interview earlier, so that was alright. Shay is uh, just casually cooling herself down at the moment because it's really hot, so she's sitting next to a fan and spread out like a walrus <laughs> on a rock. What's so mean? Yeah. So that's where we're at. Mm. My band was well. My band was meant to play a gig today, but obviously I was ill. So uh, my friend Dave played it. Um, that's all I got for you, mate. Mm. Hello, everyone. It's me. It is currently 9 p.m. on Sunday, the 25th of June. Still not feeling particularly good. I'm feeling better than I have for a couple of days, but still not 100%. Um, still reading Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke, which is alright. Uh, I have a blister on my finger from Shay and I have been playing Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, which is it's like um, a gun game on the Wii uh, that retells some of the earlier Resident Evil games. So I think Resident Evil 1 or 2. Um, and then it's also uh, retold Code Veronica as well. So we were playing that and it was really fun, but it has hurt my finger. Um, I don't really have much to update you on. Shay's back at hers now. Her and her aunt are having a uh, girls' night in, which is very cute. I'm just trying to crack on and get some work done. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into bed soon. I'm just cracking up, catching up with some filming before then. So hmm. I'm, I'm going to keep this vlog going until next week, as you can tell, because not much has happened because I'm in sick. Hello, everybody. Uh, it is ten past eight on Monday, the 26th of June. Uh, still more of the same old. I'm still reading Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke. I am now about probably three fifths of the way through it, something like that. I have a bad blister on my hand caused from playing um, this Resident Evil game that I've been playing with Shay. Um, it's like a gun game on the Wii, but because I've tr tr uh, squeezed the trigger so many times, my, my fingers blistered. So it shows how good I'd be in a zombie apocalypse. Um, I had a call with a, uh, like a Q and A call with a bunch of clients earlier and that went okay so first um first q a call back i've been working my way through this i've got this bottle of cavonia dry and tickly cough stuff it's about a few a few little swiggeroos from that and um biggie's down there he says hi that's where i'm at just doing a quick bit of filming now um i did a little bit of guitar earlier and a bit of singing so i'm, I'm getting back to it and um i might do some wee fit later We'll see. Hello everybody. It is uh, 25 to 7 on, what is it, Wednesday the 28th of June. Um, still healing, like my throat and stuff, they're still healing. They're pretty much there now. Um, but also now I have what I think is an infection on my finger from playing the fucking Resident Evil game that I told you guys about. I noticed in my editing, I mentioned it every day while I filmed that my finger hurts and it still really fucking hurts. I've been taking painkillers for it now. Um, and I showed my mum because my mum's a nurse and she says I should go to the walk-in centre at the hospital to get that checked out. So that is what we're going to do. I've literally just finished reading Imperial Earth by Arthur C. Clarke, 3.5 out of 5, pretty good. Can't believe it took me so long, but it's just because I've been ill and not been reading as much and stuff. 
And now I'm about to start reading Strangers on a Train by Patricia Highsmith, which I'm very excited about because this could potentially go on to be um, a favourite of the quarter. Um, we'll see. She's a very good writer and the plot of, or what I know of the plot of this one is very exciting. Um, Shay is in the bedroom at the moment. She's playing Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. This is the infamous game that injured my, my finger. Um, but her fingers are uninjured, so she is playing that. I uh, just started playing it one player. Um, so that's good. And um, what else? I have a call at 7. Uh, interview for my radio show. I'm interviewing my tattoo artist. So that should be good. Uh, I had a few others that I've had to push back and stuff. You know, you know the drill. The usual shit. So that's where I'm at. Hello everybody, it is currently 9.22 in the morning of uh, Sunday 2nd of July. Uh, I currently still feel very ill. Um, you can see my finger, look at my finger, look how gross my finger is. What's happened to my finger? Um, yeah, I had another like turn for the worse during the week when I was basically up all night, went to uh, minor injuries at the local hospital. They put me on uh, antibiotics and I'm just taking a lot of painkillers. Basically, we think what happened was I had the flu um, and then uh, that weakened my immune system. So then I got this infection on the blister. This is the blister. This is what happened. You know, I said my finger hurt from playing that fucking Wii game, shooting the trigger to kill the zombies. That's that blister. So that blister got infected. I also got an infection in my gums as well, which is mostly healed now. Um, but I'm like halfway through my course of antibiotics, so I'm just going to keep going with them and hopefully it gets better soon. I've been sending my mum daily photos because she's a nurse. She reckons that the infection has now stopped spreading and has started to recede a bit in my finger. Um, and that eventually this blister thing is going to pop and there's just going to be blood and pus going everywhere. I also can't feel my fingertip. Uh, or if I can... It goes between not being able to feel it or just feeling it as like a tingling sensation. So... So that's not very good. Um, yes, and so I've been off work and just lying in bed a lot, feeling really shit. Um, not doing anything other than sleeping and trying to exist. And today I need to try and crack back on with things a little bit, catch up with things, pick a few things up before next week when I just need to work as normal because I need to make some money, you know? But I don't make any money, I'm, I'm fucked. Like two weeks now I've not made any money because I've just been too ill. Um, and yeah, I do have insurance as like a self-employed person, but it doesn't kick in unless I'm off for, for four weeks or, or more. And even then it doesn't pay me like my full salary, it just pays me like a third of my salary. Um, which obviously is better than nothing, and if I had a long-term illness, it, I would be glad I had that. But for the current situation, it doesn't really help too much. Anyway, um, I finished reading that Arthur C. Clarke book, uh, Imperial Earth, that was like a 3.5 out of 5. <laughs> I'm now reading Strangers on a Train by Patricia Highsmith. I'm probably about, what, a third of the way through. Um, and it's pretty good so far, although it's not as good as I was expecting given it's, you know, a classic. Uh, I am going to watch the Hitchcock movie of it afterwards as well. Um, I don't know, it's weird because I, I had the same thoughts with The Talented Mr. Ripley. I thought the book was okay, the movie was pretty good. And I suspect it's going to be the same with this one as well. So maybe Highsmith just isn't the author for me. Um, but it is kind of ironic as well because I got this from a charity shop. And fucking, I read The Talented Mr. Ripley when I was in hospital with the abscess on my leg. And so now to be reading this while I've got this fucking growth coming out, like, out of my finger. Like even if, I try not to show you the actual injury, but like, you can see like the, the way my fingers are different fucking colour than the rest of my hand. And like the change the shape of my finger and everything. And it's my right hand, it's my dominant hand, so I can't do anything. Like I was sitting here thinking earlier, I was like, I, I'm hungry. Ah uh, yes, but I can't really make food. And even if I could, I need to do the washing up to be able to make food. And I can't do the fucking washing up. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll ask my mum if she'll treat me to a takeaway later or something. <laughs> I genuinely might do that. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But yes, um, I'm going to try and crack on for a little bit until then, so wish me luck. I'll keep this vlog going until next week, because you got I can't leave you guys hanging, not knowing whether I get better or not. What if I suddenly die? What if this is the last clip that you ever see? So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going until next week. 
Hello everyone, it is currently 7 o'clock in the morning on the morning of uh, Tuesday the 4th of July 2023. Happy Independence Day to all y'all Americans. Um, obviously not really a thing here in the UK. Uh, I didn't sleep particularly well last night, I had lots of like fever dreams and stuff. Um, but I think I am slowly getting better. My blister has popped, which you can now see. It is just draining out on me as we speak. Um, and yes, so I'm letting that kind of drain out the bile and stuff. I'm still taking my antibiotics. I've still got two more days to go on that. Um, and then, yeah, then hopefully I'll be better because otherwise I'm going to have to go back to minor injuries. It doesn't help that I also still have like some cold and flu symptoms, like a sore throat and a cough. Um, like a weird chest, it's, my breathing isn't great and stuff like that, so, but it is what it is. Um, we've, due to uh, Shay doing a little bit of research and spearheading a little move to help Biggie lose some weight, we've moved Biggie onto like a diet now, so he eats very specifically a pouch at 8am and 8pm, and then he can either have another pouch uh, for lunch or he can have some treats, like a certain amount of treats. Um, which he's doing okay at, he, he is meowing a lot, so I'm not getting much sleep at the moment because he's just meowing like on and off throughout the night. Um, but yeah, also that's why I'm awake now because I couldn't sleep because he was meowing and whatnot. Now he's gone to bed and I'm like, well I might as well stay up now because I've got to feed him in an hour. So I'll feed him in an hour and then I'll go back to, to sleep for a little nap. And uh, It's also when I take my... Um, antibiotics as well so I'll feed him take my antibiotics and go and hopefully have a little bit of a kip I'm still reading strangers on the train by Patricia Highsmith it's still pretty good probably gonna be a four out of five at uh, the current rate and yes um, I'm up to date with most of my work I have a couple of presentations to film for my American client but they've said there's no huge rush on that I had three calls from yesterday which kind of wiped me out so I'm hoping to just sleep a bit today and uh, and recover so that's where we're at Hello everybody, it is um, 20 to 11 on Tuesday the 4th of July. I think I updated you earlier so this will be a quick one. Still reading Strangers on a Train. I slept after I fed the cat earlier because um, he's on his new diet. It seems to be going okay. My finger still hurts and I still feel like shit. Um, but yes, going to make some food in a little bit. I'm just trying to catch up with some filming and some editing and I have a client I need to film some videos for as well so that's my plan in a minute. Just keeping on, keeping on, fam. Was I don't know if there's any point in me filming this. It was just because it was on my list that I needed to do it, and as soon as I started filming, I realized I'd already done it. Hello, everybody. It is half past 11 on, I guess, Wednesday, the 5th of July. I am still reading Strangers on a Train, although I've very nearly finished. My horrible finger injury is sort of healed a bit. Uh, I'm now out of antibiotics, so I'm just raw dogging this bad boy now. I made pesto pasta earlier, that was nice. Um, I have a call tomorrow, at what time is my call tomorrow? 1pm, so I should probably try and sleep before then, but I'm going to try and do a bit of filming and editing. I did a, a big dent in it all yesterday, um, so I'm going to try and do some more tonight, because uh, I have this these client presentations to film and edit at some point, so I'm going to try and make at least make a start on those. Um, so that's that's pretty much where I'm at. I had an Asda shop delivered today as well, which was nice. And Biggie is over there sleeping on the sofa, as he is wont to do. So yes. Mm. And I feel slightly less ill. Like, I still don't feel 100%, but I, I feel like maybe 60% or something, which is pretty good. Um, I've been like 5% for about three weeks, so <laughs> yay. Oh, I burped. I'm sorry, that was the uh, pesto pasta. Yum, yum. Hello everybody, it is uh, 25 past 12 on the early afternoon of Friday the 7th of July, 7 7 23. Um, my finger's still slowly but surely healing, um, but it is getting there. I've just finished reading uh, Strangers on a Train, which was a 4 out of 5 in the end, full review of that coming soon. So next up I'm going to pick up, it's over there on my bookcase over there, there. Death Comes to Marlow by uh, Richard Thorogood, Robert Thorogood rather. I don't know what's after that, probably some of the um, literary magazines because I've got a couple that I've been sent out. Um, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Desperate Carnival, uh, which is just a local carnival here in High Wycombe, so we're going to go along to that. I don't know if it's going to be any good, uh, but apparently it was a Desperate Carnival that Shay and I first kissed last year, so, uh, well it was on the day of it. 
it's kind of confusing because I don't really remember the carnival that much because my band played like three gigs that weekend so the carnival was just like an afterthought for me she was working it and then we actually kissed at a random pub for, uh, for the Sunday jam um, but anyway, so we are going to do that because we're coming up to our, our one one year anniversary. Our one year anniversary is on the 10th, which is what? Monday. So maybe we'll go out for dinner for that. But that's where I'm at and um, I'm just catching up with all my... I don't have a huge amount of filming to do. I've I mentioned these videos I have to do for a client. I've only got one more of those that I need to do now. So I'm just editing my edit, filming and editing my own shit, and then I'll do this client stuff. I've got one article left to finish writing, and then I've literally got no work on, um, which is very exciting because it means I might actually be able to enjoy the weekend for once. So, yeah, my finger hurts. Look at it. It's grim, but it is getting better. Hello, kitty. Hello people of YouTube, it is currently 20 to 3 on Sunday the 9th of July. I'm here with Shay Shay, can I show you on camera? She says no because she's busy um, creaming her lips with a lip creamer. Is that what it's called? Lip balm. Lip balm. She's balming her lips with a lip balm. Um, my finger's slowly but surely healing. I've been showing everybody on the internet my finger. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, it's. I can bend it now. I can make a fist, almost, pretty much. So uh, yeah, it's just very dry now, but it does seem to be healing. Uh, I'm currently reading Death Comes to Marlow by Robert Thorogood, which is very good. Uh, it's thoroughly good. Probably going to be a four out of five. Full review of that coming soon. Been tabbing it out. For some reason Google Chrome now tells me when people like my videos on TikTok and it's incredibly annoying. I didn't tell it to do that, it just started doing that. Started doing it on my laptop and it's apparently just now just started doing it on my desktop as well. So that's fine, I suppose. Next up I'm probably going to read uh, the Mississippi Review, volume number 51, number 1 and 2. Um, Shay is making a noise on her phone over there, she's a little rebel. We went to, what's that shop called, Sostren Greens or whatever, um, a nice little like a Danish shop, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I think it's Danish, with, and it does like homeware and stuff. So I got Shay some nice goodies. Tomorrow is our anniversary. We might go out for afternoon tea, and I suppose I'm cooking something. And that's about it. I don't have any work on. Um, and ideally, because Shay wants me to take the day off tomorrow, which is fine, but I would ideally have some work on today so that I can make up for that, but I don't. So we might go do some garden in a bit. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Oh, actually, that seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Biggie's here. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Let Biggie and I know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. And we'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.